not been visiting the website enough. Jim needs to help me. Jim needs to help you, yes. <laughs> so we already talked about Scott, how the fact that he went to school today, right. back to yes. school. And mm -hmm. you've got some cool kids who are going to help us out in the weather segment. Yeah, we saw them a little earlier from Amity Elementary. The first graders doing a great job. Very, very smart kids, very much into science. And of course, we had some very important weather questions. So here's a question from one of our weather whiz kids. Hi, my name is Devin from Amity Elementary, and here is my weather question. Um, why do um, rainy gray clouds um, block the sun? That is a great question there, Devin, talking about how the clouds block the sunshine. First of all, why does it happen? Well, anytime you put something in front of the sun, it's going to cause darkness. But we were talking a little bit more about that question, and he says, well, some clouds are darker and some clouds are lighter. And I wanted to explain why that's happening. There's two reasons why that happens. This picture really illustrates one of them very well here. Take a look at this photo here. These clouds look all white right here, but this cloud looks completely dark, and really, it's the same cloud that's going on here, the same storm system, but the bottom line is it's as simple as this. The sun is shining on the edges here, and so you see it as white, but on this side, it's completely in the shade, so you see it dark. So that's one of the main reasons, and you can see it in all kinds of different clouds. When you see the base of the cloud here, you see darkness. The sun has to travel all the way through this cloud, so the light gets scattered and absorbed and not as much light is coming out the bottom. So if you're under this cloud, not only is it raining right in here, but it will look dark and gray because you're not seeing it. But from this perspective, that's the other point here. We're looking over here, we see it looking rather bright and white because the sun is shining on it from here. Yet these clouds look dark because they're getting shadowed likely by clouds that are from behind us in this particular picture here. So something I want you to check out, the next time a big storm system was approaching, you look at something like this and say, wow, look how dark that looks right here. When a big thunderstorm is approaching and the sun is still shining it hasn't come over yet the cloud will look very very black when the sun is shining near you and a cloud is approaching once that cloud comes overhead and makes it completely overcast take note of what the color looks like it will look more like a gray than it will a black because it is more perspective than anything else so you see dark down here you see whiteness up in here if you've got questions or photos if you want to become a weather whiz kid talk to your teacher have the teachers and teachers are probably watching right now. You can reach me at weather at fox9now.com and we'll get some more questions. And that's a great question right there. And yes. there were so many more good ones that I'll be doing over the next few weeks from Amity Elementary. I've forgotten awesome. what a thunderstorm is like. Yeah, it's we haven't had so one in a while. It's so fun. Mm. All right, thanks, Scott. You bet. Well,